New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez made his first public comment since his indictment last week on federal bribery charges. The defiant lawmaker insisted he'll be exonerated, claiming the thousands of dollars in cash found in his home was earned lawfully. ABC's Liz Landers is in Washington now with the latest. Calls growing over the weekend from colleagues of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez to step down after a Justice Department indictment accused him and his wife of improper business dealings. A federal grand jury has charged Menendez, the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and his wife Nadine of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes from businessmen in exchange for favorable business. Menendez and his wife maintain their innocence and both intend to vigorously contest the charges. I firmly believe that when all the facts are presented, not only will I be exonerated, but I still will be the New Jersey's senior senator. Several members of Congress, many in his own party, calling for his resignation. The details in this indictment are extremely serious. They involve uh, the nature of of not just his, but all of our seats in Congress. And I think that the body of, of allegations are certainly of the kind that uh, it makes it very difficult for him to do his job. The details of the latest indictment raising eyebrows, $100,000 in gold bars found in Menendez's home, $480,000 in cash, including some allegedly hidden in liners in his jackets, a luxury Mercedes-Benz car, all evidence, says the prosecutor's office, of Menendez accepting bribes. And the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announcing that Menendez will step down as chairman of that powerful Senate committee. Menendez, who is up for re-election in 2024, now facing a Democratic primary challenger. Congressman Andy Kim announcing that he will run against the senator, saying that New Jersey, quote, deserves better. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.